Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Kaylin Clement. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to bring you the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of September 4th through the 10th. The City of Bloomington is going to redesign its website from top to bottom and they need your feedback on what works and what could be improved. The communications team is asking residents to visit the site at www.ci.bloomington.mn.us and click Website Redesign Survey. The survey will only take a few minutes to complete and your feedback is appreciated. There is also a place to enter your contact information if you're interested in participating in the testing and evaluation of the new website. One city park enjoyed both by two-legged residents and four-legged residents recently received some upgrades. According to Parks and Recreation officials, Bloomington's off-leash dog recreation area has been seeing an increase in usage, leading staff to implement some necessary improvements. The first of two major changes was the new lighting added to both the parking lot and the southern side of the open space. The second improvement has really made the pup visitors pleased as water is now available on site for both patrons and dogs. Just a reminder that current dog licenses are required for entrance into the off-leash area. Residents can purchase their dog licenses at Bloomington Civic Plaza located at 1800 West Old Shakopee Road during regular business hours. Now let's take a look at another segment of Remembering Bloomington, where longtime Bloomington residents recall their fondest and most vivid memories of the city they grew up in. I'm pleased now to introduce you to Ken Finesse. I have lived in Bloomington since 1937. This is what I remember most about Bloomington. I grew up on a farm at the southwest corner of Bush Lake and, and the city came to us. My mother's family came to Bloomington early. Her grandfather and his brother went to the Civil War from their farms out on what is now Auto Club Road. My dad's family moved out to Bush Lake in 1906-07 from their farm in South Minneapolis. The house where he and his siblings were born is still standing at 4627 Pillsbury. My dad was the youngest, and besides buying, selling, and hauling cattle to the stockyards in South St. Paul, he stayed on the farm. We had a dairy farm until a windstorm blew the cow barn down in 1947. My dad built a new barn and started raising feeder cattle and hogs. As us kids grew, there was a progression of work responsibilities. My first outside job was Chicken Kid. Open the hen house door in the morning, keep them in water, mash, grit, and shells. We experienced wind, hail, fire, floods, and drought. Work hard, keep the animals healthy, and help the neighbors. I look back, always lots of hard work, but in most of the pictures you see big smiles. I never wanted for anything. Times were tough, times were good, and there was always lessons to learn. I'm proud to live in Bloomington, are you? And that is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of September 4th through the 10th. Thanks for joining us.